What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Maddie V, and this is Maddie Cars. Today, we are celebrating 100 subscribers. Huge shout out and thank you to everyone who has subscribed and joined the adventure so far. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Some may say this is no big deal, but for me, it's a big deal. It's something I'm very thankful for. I appreciate everyone who subscribed. For those of you who have not subscribed yet, that's okay. No hard feelings, but I would really appreciate it if you would take a moment and just go down, click the subscribe button. Do you know what this means? And jump on board. Ride the adventure train with us as we're moving towards a thousand subscribers. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. In honor of a hundred subscribers, I wanted to give you a little bit of an insight about why I love cars so much. Where did my passion for cars come from? Where was that seed initially planted? And for me, it happened in the middle of 1985. There was a very seminal and important movie that came out called Back to the Future. And this is where my love of cars began. The seed that was planted deep in my heart was the seed of a DeLorean. Sleek styling, time traveling magic, the gold wing doors. I mean, everything about it just captivated my young mind. And from that moment forward, I was a car guy. Comment below, I'm curious. When was your automotive car seed planted? When was that moment when you first realized that you were a car person? So in honor of Back to the Future, I thought we would do a little experiment to make Doc Brown proud. I'll simulate the lightning. Here is the setup. We will test zero to 60 times at 300, 200, and 100 miles of indicated range on the Tesla. So the question is, will the Tesla maintain its acceleration power at various charge levels, or will the lower range result in slower times? Just like being trapped in Biff's horrible alternate future timeline. What is your guess? Comment below, but let's go find out. Three, two, one, launch. Juicy goodness. Oh. Okay, our final attempt, and we'll get out of here. Make like three, get out of Go. Okay, so we've done three zero to 60 tests. We went from 301 miles of range down to 296 miles of range. So at 196 miles of charge, we will do an additional zero to 60 test. In honor of Back to the Future and Doc Brown sending Marty back to 1955, I thought it would be appropriate for us in our 100 mile journey to drive over to the old Sinclair station, which was originally constructed in 1916 as part of the gold rush, servicing all the people that were working in the gold mines around Eureka in that area of Utah. What are your favorite quotes from Back to the Future? There's also some fun little Easter eggs hidden in that movie. Do you remember? the beginning of the movie, it's Twin Pines Mall. And then Marty goes back in time. If you notice carefully, there's two pine trees in the front of old man Peabody's farm. And Marty runs over one of them on his way out. And then later when Marty goes back to 1985, it's the Lone Pine Mall. What are some of your favorite memories of Back to the Future? Comment below. Did you see the movie as a kid? Have you seen the movie? Do you even know what it is? Let's talk about it. One of the themes about Back to the Future is that the door, <laughs> is that the DeLorean has to go 88 miles per hour in order to, in order for the flux capacitor to do its magic and open the portal for time travel. I wonder why they chose the number 88, but I think that's cool. That is a cool number. Uh, if you're born in 1988, I think that's a nice year to be born. So shout out all those born in 88 people. Now we will not go 88 miles an hour, but we will enjoy our present moment time machine, the Tesla Model Y long range, in cliche corner here, let's go. In honor of all of our 100 subscribers, we have taken 100 miles off the range. We're gonna see how our zero to 60 tests perform at this level of range. Three, two, one, go. Okay. 
Okay, there's zero to 60. Okay, three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, three zero to 60 tests. Boom. Interesting, my, my friends. Okay, so as we're making our way into our second 100 miles of celebration, saying thank you to our wonderful 100 subscribers. If you wanna hop on this train and be part of the 1,000 subscribers, well, we're gonna do something crazy when we hit 1,000 subscribers. I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but we'll do something fun and crazy and a little saucy. <gasps> but I just wanted to actually check in and say how much I love just cruising in this car. The autopilot is really, really good. And I think Doc, Brown, and Marty would have been very impressed. You telling me that this sucker is nuclear? Hey, hey. What do you guys think? Are you impressed with the Tesla? Or do you think uh, we need to go back to just DeLoreans only? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, it's a DeLorean, right? Sure. Okay, family, we are in for a special treat. We're down to 124 miles of range left. But in order to get that final 24 miles of range out. We're gonna enjoy a little Francis Pass here. So let's go, let's enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Read the letter, Doc. It's about the future. 1.21 gigawatts. Okay, folks. We have 89 miles of range left. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Shoot, guys, we might be stuck in the past just like Marty was in 1955. No. No, no, no. We might need a bolt of lightning to get us home. It's a bolt of lightning. I don't know if I didn't plan this properly or what. Maybe the the launches take more out of it than we were expecting. Oh, hello. Anybody home? Hi. We're going to have 4% of battery when we get home. That is not a lot of buffer. Jeez. Jeez. Come on the middle of it right now. I'm having my first full-on range anxiety that I've ever had in this car. I made some miscalculations on our test today, had to double back for about 30 miles, and now we are, we are gonna be close. So it's telling me we're gonna have 3% range left when we get home, but the problem is the indicator of the, the miles of range is going down way faster than we're actually covering miles so I don't trust that number <laughs> we're out in the middle of nowhere I do not want to spend the night out here in my car and it's gonna be way 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 below freezing and without any electricity in the car that could be pretty bad news my heart's pounding I don't know if we're gonna make this I did not plan this well so it's it's on me but I'll let you know how it goes wish me luck I've got some fantastic news. We're actually going to make it. There was a few moments back there where I had some pucker factor moments where I wasn't sure if we were gonna make it. After 200 miles, nine zero to 60 tests, and nearly getting stuck in the frozen tundra, we're ready to unveil the results. Our highly scientific findings reveal a clear connection between the Tesla performance and a battery range. Here's the breakdown. At 300 miles of range, 0 to 60 was lightning fast with an average time of 4.54 seconds. At 198 miles of range, still impressive, with an average time of 4.66 seconds. And finally, at 89 miles of range, it took an average of 5.04 seconds. Still fast, but noticeably slower. So what do you think? Were these results surprising? Did you expect a bigger or smaller difference? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And that's a wrap on this week's journey. A huge shout out to our amazing subscribers and everyone else who hung in there all the way to the end of the video. Thank you, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.